Hey, this is Pastor Dave coming to you with your Monday Mojo. Hope you had a good weekend. I think the fall is definitely on us, although I hear it's going to get a little warmer at the end of this week. So something you may or may not know about me is that I am a deal hunter. Now, for me, the definition of a deal is the highest quality you can get for the most reasonable or low price you can get. So if you get high quality, but you pay a high price for it, that's not really a deal. You get a good product. If you get low quality with low price, that's not a deal either. If you get low quality with high price, definitely not a deal. But if you can get high quality at a reasonable or low price, that's a pretty good deal. So for instance, for me, whenever I buy tennis shoes, um, I rarely try to go over $50. I know that may sound cheap. I don't know. That's why I go to Kohl's. They usually have pretty good deals. I usually can get a pretty good set of tennis shoes for that. But a few years ago, I met this lady. Her name was Laura. And she was a runner. Now, here's another piece of information about me. I am not. I do not like running. But when you're trying to woo somebody, isn't that a good word, woo? Uh, you do all kinds of things. Like go outside of your deal bargain mindset. So in order to uh, run with Laura, I went to a running shoe store and bought shoes. And a guy looked at me and he said, now these are really good shoes and they're really good quality and they're made for the way that you run. And I was like, wow, that's great. And he said, they're $150, $150. Normally I would have said, uh, no, thank you. But I had something else in mind. That was running with Laura. And she had told me I better get some good shoes. And so I did. Paid the price. Because you know there's always a price that you're willing to pay, right? There's always a price that you're willing to pay because of some greater good and idea. Some greater good and idea. And so I was willing to go outside of my normal price range in order to become a pseudo runner in order to maybe spend time with Laura and get to know her. You know, the Bible says that for the, for the price that was set before him, for the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross. He had, a, he had a cost in mind. He had a price in mind, and that was you and I. And he was willing to pay the ultimate for it. And if you want to talk about a deal, that's a deal that you and I get to receive this amazing relationship with God because of the price that was paid for us. Anyway, as I was putting these shoes on last week and, and thank God we aren't running anymore. I'm sorry for the fact that Laura can't run because I know she misses it, but um, I don't. As a matter of fact, one time she said to me, you know, if it's after work sometime and, and you want to go running by yourself, you can. I was like, oh, heck no. <laughs> <clears throat> but as I was picking these up and putting them on, it made me think of that story. Anyway, that's just my observation. That's my thought for the day. I hope you have a great week.